Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Well, we are still wondering in awe after looking at the breathtaking image released by NASA's $10 billion machine. This is the first full-color picture from the new James Webb Space Telescope. You are looking at an image which is the farthest any human has ever seen and thereby changing our view of the distant cosmos forever. This is the clearest image of the early days of our universe. What makes this image astonishing is that it is 13 billion light years away. In other words, it took light from these galaxies to travel for 13 billion years, only to be snapped by the James Webb Space Telescope. In pit darkness of the space, the image shows a kaleidoscope of galaxies, some appearing as bright points while others look bent and streaky. NASA says that this is due to the effects of gravity, which wraps light on the long journey to Earth. The image was released amidst much fanfare by U.S. President Joe Biden at the White House, alongside Vice President Kamala Harris and NASA officials. The scientists around the world are excited to further closely analyze the image and learn more secrets and understand more about how really our universe was behaving during its infancy. Listen in. So what this image is doing is, you know, not only seeing much more detail, um, it's pushing into the infrared. And so potentially there are objects in this image which, you know, certainly have never been seen by Hubble. Um, we might be seeing some of the very first stars and galaxies to form in this image. We need to, you know, download the data and start, you know, doing the precise measurements and figure it out. And that's what we're all eager to do. While to the layman, these images may not look dramatic, but what appears to be tiny specks of vastness of space are actually galaxies, and these are billions of years old. And that's not all. The U.S. Space Agency has released another tranche of breathtaking images of the NASA sent universe. These images show a stellar nursery where galaxies are locked in a cosmic dance of creation and destruction. The new pictures have enabled astronomers for the first time to take a deep dive at such close encounters. One of the images is Stephen's Quentent, a visual grouping of five galaxies. It's a grouping of five galaxies. The powerful telescope reveals Stephen's Quentent in a new light. The enormous mosaic is Webb's largest image to date, covering about one-fifth of the moon's diameter. It contains over 150 million pixels and is constructed from almost 1,000 separate image files. NASA also unveiled more cosmic beauty shots, including the Carina Nebula, one of the bright stellar nurseries in the sky, about 7,600 light years away. The stunning vista of the cosmic cliffs of the Carina Nebula reveals new details about this vast stellar nursery. Today, for the first time, we're seeing brand new stars that were previously completely hidden from our view. Now let's talk about the machine which has provided these wonderful images. The telescope was launched last December and is orbiting the sun at a distance of 1.6 million kilometers from Earth. Here it remains in a fixed position relative to the Earth and the sun. Its unique positions help it to spend very less fuel for course corrections. A wonder of engineering, the total project cost is estimated at $10 billion, making it one of the most expensive scientific platforms ever built. Webb's primary mirror is over 6.5 meters wide and is made up of 18 gold-coated mirror segments, like camera held in one's hand. The structure must remain as stable as possible to achieve the best shots. The telescope's main goal is to gaze deeper in the vastness of the space and hunt for the first generation of galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, which took place 13.8 billion years ago.